cool cavern, bro. In a world. <laughs> you read this one. <laughs> In a world full of notes, one man will read all of them. This summer, you will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. <laughs> nice. I actually have a full system as to what I do there. So like I have to, it's a random rhythm of claps so that if it doesn't, if all of them don't stick up, I know I'm using the wrong thing. And then Ooh. the, the went or any kind of vocalization that I do, um, <laughs> wow. I can use that to, if I put that side by side, I could tell how close I've gotten the, um, the sync to be up because it, it, you won't even hear like a difference between the two vocals. If I have it synced perfectly. Interesting. I don't use that second part that much. I can just use the transient of the clap, but it's cool. Wow, there was so much <clears throat> more than I ever thought possible. I know, right? It's yeah. <laughs> I spent I part of the fun of this for me was just like it's kind of weird, but like creating stuff is better than anything else. Mm -hmm. And so creating the things that that make these episodes happen and creating the episodes gives me more satisfaction than any other aspect of doing the episodes. I feel like that's totally sin like analogous to what the game like the last episode like you're creating all of the fantastic outer rooms but like people don't see that but that's kind of okay because it still brings you joy. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and so, so and sometimes I'll show people like I I did, you know, I take took joy in showing you um my full, you know, chain of, of like my effects chain and of, of how I do this and the way that I, um, the way that I like, uh, well, my compression envelope of the, the episode and stuff and how it's like side chained and all that, blah, 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 blah. And I can't remember all the technical words right now because I'm tired. It's like a Let's whole language. The great and lovely descent. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So just look at this for a moment. This is like one of, Oh, this is so familiar to me. And I look at look at how the room bends. That's Isn't really that interesting. interesting. I almost just want to take a screenshot of that first bit so I can use it as my desktop wallpaper. Right? Because it's, it's that good. Just gonna do that really quick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about it? Um I, I It's got like, good composition. So okay. The fact, like, how it's not centered on the screen and yeah. stuff, because it's, like, rule of thirds, I think. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, um, and the way that, like, the gradient of the white and stuff, it's simple but effective, and I like it a lot. That's so cool. And, yes, yeah, so really I striking. Screen, so it should be good. Yeah, it's super striking. Now that we've, you know... I actually never noticed the curves before this playthrough and the ground. Yeah, this is really interesting. Let's talk terrain. about video game development for a second. Sure. Okay. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. The streetwise fool. Okay. <laughs> to make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Yeah. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. What's in the painting? One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's okay. why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does right. well. And like those boxy looking tables and the chairs. Tools available yeah. to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're oh, going to end go. up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. Yeah, I see. I see that. I see what you're. Picking up what you're putting down. I think it's, yeah, I think it's pretty good at creating like geometric sort of non oddities. Well, right. I'm going to explore that in a sec. Oh, you can go in the bathroom? Yeah, That's you can go in the bathroom. Awesome. You flush the toilet? Oh, you can close this no, door. Yeah. Oh, That's now. That's terrifying. Yeah, I actually feel kind of panicked uh, by that. Sorry. <laughs> no, good. it's fine. I definitely going to want to go up here though. Uh, yeah. Because I saw down. this and maybe this is cool. You never know. Balls. Nope. It was not cool, but we tried. <laughs> Still, I'm going to go underneath this uh, thing here. A for effort. Here. Effort doesn't have an A in it. Yeah, I know, but it's like the grade A. Effort. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> a for a fart. <laughs> okay, that's that door. Okay, interesting. Hello. Hi. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is. Look. Ah, uh, the music. Why? It's completely changed aesthetic. And the music is very. I don't know how to describe it. Enveloping? Yeah, it's ominous. But also not. Yeah, it's interesting. It's got a. almost like a. It's an ambiguous sort of ominousness to it. Yeah. This is where having controls that are kind of on ice skates is oh. <laughs> not the best thing in the world, difficult. thanks, game. See, like, do you see how the momentum carries me forward? Yeah. I hate that. Doesn't it kind of make you feel small again? Ugh. But, like, in a good way, but you also have no idea what's going on. I appreciate the game for making me, you know, actually work for this, because this isn't quite as easy as it might look. To it Are you kidding easy. me? Does it what? You go down. I need to figure out down. where exactly I'm oh, going okay. down. Like so. Jeez. I'm not okay with this yeah, level. I've never played this for myself, so I actually have no idea how difficult this is. <laughs> it's just kind of stressful. Like, I don't think it's all that difficult. I think most people would get through this on the oh first. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. The stressful part. I get it. Oh, it's just a floor. Okay. Well, uh. <laughs> Nigel's, Nigel's never seen this, by the way, and I don't intend to spoil much, so. Okay, so that's just a ah, so That's sorry. fine. <laughs> there's no fall damage. Can't die. Look at the light, how it kind of, there's like a dark silt, if you look at the stairs. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, I think that's glass, basically. Oh, okay. It looks like you could actually make your whole way down here. I feel bad for dropping you, you down. You can. It's okay. It's like, I miss dialogue. It's okay, because you got start. to see, like, the blur as you fell through the air. It was cool. Mm. There wasn't any dialogue to miss, by the way. It's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Somehow that, I know. Oh, you're right. It is glass that you cannot breach. This is interesting. Stairs to nowhere. High ominous gate. Uh, I don't want to be pig. Oh, there's like weird radio sounds. Yeah, in the back. I don't like that. It's really freaky. It's not a nice feeling. Being no. like led to a cage. Oh, okay. I could have gone up there. Oh. Oh. This prison. Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut <laughs> for a full hour before letting you go. Mm. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip. I wanna play that game. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, <laughs> whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? Right. And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, <laughs> each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a <laughs> gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. That's amazing. Well, it's kind of what we were talking about earlier, which is like sometimes it's some like he's not making these for anyone, so it he's making them for himself. So everything that goes into this means something to him or gives him some kind of satisfaction, right? Yeah, it's a um, it's a it's a it's a difference in audience. Yeah. Where his audience has never been someone else. Exactly. So he, he, it's for his own benefit, but I understand. It reminds me of in the Stanley parable where, um, you can go into the secret baby level. And if you play the secret baby level for five hours or something to that effect, you will get like a, uh, an achievement That's and insane. all that. So <laughs> you can definitely, I know that this game is developed by the same guy. Can I just point out that, that those three dots on the wall? Just take notice of them. Sure. Just notice that there's three dots. They're, that's the second pair we've seen so far. Of dots? Yeah. Really? Yeah. In this level? No, just in this game in so this far. this game? Like in, in the beginner's guide. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. 
Look at that smoke again. It's it's striking. I'm sorry. I think I cut you off. I don't recall. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Uh. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. I love how the music and the visuals kind of correspond. Like you walk into a new room with, there's similar aesthetic to before, but something new, these red panels. And now there are these new tones that have just appeared in the music. It's very cool. It's so, it works super well in sync. Like audio visual. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think you could probably just sort of make like a loop that sort of is made by many instruments at once. Then and you then can you just add slowly something. add layers of it. Yeah, it's a great effect. Kind of fade it in because it's smart. If you even after you watch this, you should probably play that because there's so much stuff I'm experiencing for the first time by being in the game. You there! Coda begins using Did you a come from above? system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Huh. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Yes, there was a world stamped with whiteness. Yes, there was an enormous prison I spent hours in. Yes, there were these floating colored blocks. That's the world above. You've been there. Now, this is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before coming here. No, I don't remember having to go through any puzzle. I'd prefer not to tell you. After all, we've only just met. That is a good point. Like, who... These people make me a little uncomfortable. Just gonna be honest. What? But you don't understand. We're trapped here. That puzzle is our only escape. We need to get through it. Actually, I, I didn't know that. This is new for me. <laughs> hmm. You think you want to get through, but trust me, you don't. Let me describe it for you. Let me tell you all about what's over there. All right, I'll tell you how to solve it. No, that isn't possibly enough. I need to actually be there. I cannot simply be told what it is. I must see it myself. I must escape this prison. There must be an ending. Hmm. Some invisible walls there. Interesting that he just. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh! Interesting that he decided to uh, have jumping. Well, I guess he had to because it's some platforming. But in the Stanley Parable, there is no jumping. Yeah, that's true. Hi. Hello. How did you get here? Oh. Was there a puzzle you had to pass through? Yes. Do you want to know how to solve it? <sighs> no, I've been right here this entire time. You said O. Oh. I thought it's the same guys, I think. I suggest you go and see the puzzle sometime. It's not meant to be solved, but you can sit in the black space in the middle. What happens if I solve it? Why would I sit in the black space? Who are you? Let's it's get, it's get to the point. Just go hang out there in that blackness for a bit. You may not like it at first, but it'll grow on you eventually. Thanks for your words of wisdom. Okay. I don't really Friends. want the blackness to grow on me, but that's cool. It's a bit of a weird imagery there, isn't, isn't So if it? something happens, so we make one last descent down to the final oh. floor. Oh. But why is this descent great and lovely? That's what I'd like to know. Huh. It's kind of homey. It's a lamppost. No, no. Okay, I can't okay. tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. Hmm. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> So 
So... This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Have fun! I don't know if that's going to be true or not. Did you want to comment on that last level? Uh, what they said about the blackness, so you could just sit in it. Yeah. And that's between the doors, right? What they were yeah. referencing? So, that's interesting. So does that mean if I was playing this game earlier, if I just sat in the blackness, something else would happen? Uh, I have no idea, actually. Nice room. Not. See, this isn't real. This, this isn't real. This game is not connected so to the internet. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but <laughs> this game is yes. not connected to the internet. <laughs> All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. How do you beat this guy? This no was point. the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. Whoa, I holy! I working on this very level, and it was just so good different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away, I was like, I have to be friends with this person. <laughs> in retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh... I was over enthusiastic. So much, holy crap. But he was sometimes. very gracious about it and very patient with me. Hello? And I cooled off eventually. Good for you, Davey. It's okay. Reasonable. Oh, what? Feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for Everyone you. Everyone read Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Hey. Either way, this place to makes me, me can sad. Be a sense of loneliness. Yeah, I see that. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs <laughs> oh dear. and has no way to express <laughs> them. Except uh, as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. No. How is there wood and grass? And that's a great question, actually. Good question. But it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game Wait. and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. Holy. And I have to be honest with you. This idea is really seductive to me. That I could just wait, wait, wait. play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. That's kind of what... I think this is why I always liked huh. Dakota's games so much. is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. Dude, I totally get that from YouTube. Like, that's half of watching YouTube for me. Okay, let's read this. I just saw a flying piglet. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I have ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see again if and nothing will ever be that beautiful again. I am crying now and plan on ripping my eyes out. I must go now to do that. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. UK, bro. Can you read some of the notes on this grassy thing? Sure. I mean, we don't have to do all of them. Do not be afraid. Do care. Oh, okay, the blue ones I haven't read. Oh, <laughs> interesting. You don't have to read them all, but this game is no nice. I would like it when I could. Okay. Do you feel like okay. a hero yet? Wait, what does that one say? Cool cavern, bro. <laughs> In a world. <laughs> you read this one. <laughs> In a world full of notes, one man will read all of them. This summer, you will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're running out of space. Dude. Soon we will suffer. Holy mackerel. There are too many messages in this area. There's too many messages. Why? Oh, man. <laughs> hey, I can type here. <laughs> the guy over there wrote much wrong. Wow. I'd rather be doing oh my anything. Oh, gosh. Or making this. I'd rather be doing literally. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, feel free to. The penguin one's messed. That was. Really interesting. Kind it feels upsetting. satirical. That it was upsetting. But it feels satirical somehow. Is there more? If I go, uh, I don't think you can reach those areas. You can try jumping oh, off. Oh, you're right. I can't. I don't think you can. All right. Okay. I was definitely daunted by the task. Oh yeah. No worries. I see that now, though. This will be okay. That'd be a lot of work. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Boring. So in sync. I can assure you, guaranteed that there is an acorn somewhere here in this place, and the sailors are looking for it. That's strangely ominous. The sailors are looking for it. Who are these sailors? <sighs> Aww. Mm. I refuse to believe that blue speech bubbles can talk. Butt ass butt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't need to get on the frickin' bed. I've been there, man. Frickin' I Getting chills. Yeah. There's nothing here. Don't listen to that guy. Well, the reason I'm getting chills is because I sometimes feel like, you know, I already, I've conferred with you, Emily, that yeah. I, you know, I often sort of feel like alienated from the rest of the world all the time. Right. <laughs> Open sesame. Nope. Are you typing? I was just trying to uh, open up like commands or something. Oh. Need other side door. Why you so? Yeah. So this game kind of enhance, like, brings you back to that feeling of being like alienated. I see that in this, right? Right. It's understandable. It's very open and echoey and lonely, like he said. Do you hear the chimes? They keep you going, don't they? Whoa. Uh, I would very much like to be desired. Same. I think a lot of people feel that way. Oh, that hurts me inside. Scared of writing something. Don't want to feel judged. Welcome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Whoa. I think. Eh, don't bother. A game where you leave notes and suddenly everyone's a poet. <laughs> You'd be surprised at the people who are. This poets. is where I get off. Well, that's too much information. Oh dear. I, I failed to write anything here. Good job, bro. Sorry. I am compelled. Stop. Turn back. Proceeding further will result in misery. Eh. Been there. Done that. I'll be back. Take my hand, let's jump That's together. That's so sad. Okay. Yeah. No, but here, here, stop, stop. Or you can keep going. But Go ahead. Isn't that up? just like the idea of like, I don't know, from long, from a long time ago, I think when I felt a lot more lonely than I do now. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I think I, I was kind of familiar with that feeling of like, it's better to do anything with someone else, even if it's like. Fatal. Something scary. Yeah. Cabbage like, shapes our nation. Oh it's just better not to be what alone. What is that you know? painting? It's Cabbage Man. Cabbage Man. I love that Cabbage Shapes Our Nation. It does not matter if you ever get over there. Hey, don't talk about me that way. <laughs> Very good game. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm. This is not going anywhere. Did he purposely put in like broken English? Next time I will do better. Because that's amazing. I need someone to talk to. This is a note? I know, right? Don't listen to the other notes. In a world. I, mm, oh, mm, that's kind of mm. disturbing. That makes my insides crawl. Hi, big painting in, in a cold feeling room. These are getting so much more real as we go. The whispering sounds in the ears are kind of... Today I learned you cannot fall off. Ethical. Like ethical to prevent people from like falling off to their deaths? I don't know what ethical is in this case. Painting! What does it mean? Same. Whoever made this has... <laughs> he reads, he's writing that himself. I love that. The introspection here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Who are all of you? Help, I am trying to speak. <laughs> you guys, it's going just hanging. Art. I think it's about how things look messy from up close and perfect far away. That's a good point. Everybody kind of looks perfect from the outside. Or sometimes. Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> you again. Why are you here? Spoilers. It doesn't mean anything. We will all die someday. That's nice. Stop <laughs> pretending you are other people. He's he's so meta. He's like talking to him. So oh my gosh, it's. <laughs> uh, he's like a great sense of humor, but lonely. And I I totally relate with that. Teenage me gets you, man. Devil, Devil Tower, Tower Star. Star. I'm no longer a teenager. Just so you know. That's why you said teenage me. Yeah. Devil, why is that repeated? What the hell? Is it just gonna keep saying that over and over again? Oh, no, no. Devil oh. Towers. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll feel, feel real. Feel real. Oh man. Yikes. You will, man. Just keep going. He was. 
himself the most horrible creature he could imagine. Well, I'm here now. Yeah, we're all here now. <laughs> Must be a reason for it, though. Oh, that's like one long thought. His terrible secret, he kept it well. Oh. I beat the game! <laughs> Holy crap. More room? At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. This again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Yeah, the whispering's getting louder and it's definitely- I don't really like that. Kind of uncomfortable. Need an escape. Cut it up and spread it between worlds. Whoa, that's interesting. Yeah, that one's interesting because it goes pretty well with what uh, Narrator was just saying. Yeah. Almost there. I have seen everything. I have traveled the world. I have never told anyone. Wish there were notes in the real world. I forgive in the whispers. Come one with the spiraling what did nonsense. It say? I heard forgive in the words. Interesting. The whispers. Keep digging. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Developer, answers please. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. <laughs> Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Yeah, I'm out here. Blech. I was hoping I'd leave the whispering behind. This is actually really freaky being in this. I think that's typing. I see. Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, speak, speak. Oh my. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. But you can walk around. It checks me. Maybe we should cut it off there, actually. Yeah, I was just going to check the time, and I was like, I feel like that level took a pretty long time. It did. And I had a lot to digest, and I actually might just need to chill for a second after yeah, that level. I should have pers that was probably mentioned there. There are a few moments in this game that are uncomfortable in the sense that you they get kind of real it's going to be interesting i like that music actually in the level mm -hmm. all uh, right well thanks for tuning in thank you there are too many messages in this area there's too many messages why oh. <laughs>